97.9 GRT Rocks, Sans Jana, with some very special guest letters from the fire. Thanks for being here. What's up? Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. So you guys just are here for the fun of it. I mean, it would be fun just any way to have you. But you have a show tonight at 20 Monroe Live with Seether. Yeah. Yes. Yes, we do. So how's it been going so far? How's the tour? Uh, it's been really sick. Actually, we just played, um, my hometown was the last show in Pittsburgh, and uh, my whole family got to come out. It was really cool. Awesome. Yeah. Did I see that you did Broken with Seether? I did, yeah. What was that like? Uh, it was a lot. It was, yeah. it was you know, it, it was it was very nerve-wracking, but it was something that we've been talking about doing for a while, and I am i don't know if we're going to keep doing it or not. I haven't really talked to him about that yet. <laughs> I'm hoping that we will, um, so hopefully everyone can see it tonight, but... Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. It was awesome. Well, that's pretty pretty awesome. So, Alexa, how long exactly have you, have you been with the band? I know you've had some lineup changes. It was was it last summer? Uh, it's been almost two oh over two years now. Actually. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, about two years ago, we started our record, um, which is crazy because it's only been out for like eight months or something like that. Now we sat on it for like a year after we made it, but um, yeah, this lineup is kind of about two years old now. How did it come to be? How did how did you all find each other? Hello. <laughs> well, I, uh, yeah, me and Cameron and Clayton have been in the band for a while, so we've been doing it for probably about nine, ten years, I think. Just getting there. Getting man. there. Um, and then um, we, you know, we parted ways with our last vocalist, and uh, and we were working with this guy named Mike Gitter, and he's like, I got this girl. And I was like, no, <laughs> no girl, you know. And, now uh, you feel differently. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, you know, he's like, just listen. No, they still are like, no. 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 Still, still say that <laughs> every day. <laughs> just don't pay every morning. No. When I'm moving that makeup case, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, everybody remind everybody in, that I'm like, like, okay, no. I'll see you yeah. later. I gotta go <laughs> do my hair and The luggage full of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he's, uh, and he was like, just listen to the demo, and I heard it. I was like, okay, never mind. I was like, let's uh, see what she can do. And she just, she killed it. So we, uh made it happen you know well fantastic and obviously things are going well you have your new album worth the pain mm -hmm. on september talk to me about who does the writing how does all that work out uh, it's it's a mixture of all of us i mean mike works a lot in his home studio coming up with ideas and i'll come in and kind of bounce stuff off of him that's just like music yeah. and like alexa deals a lot more with like the lyrics and writing vocal lines and we have a lot of other people help us when we when it came time to actually recording the record, but um, I'd like to say that we all contribute, you know, in different ways. Well, for sure. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just pretty much, I don't really help with music much because my instrument skills are limited, but um, I definitely had a part of every song in terms of um, top line, like m m lyrics and melody. Um, whether it was like I wrote all of it or I wrote some of it, you know, it varied from song to song. Mm -hmm. What do you want people to take away from from this album, from Worth the Pain? I mean, clearly the title means something, you know, all the, there's meaning in, in all the songs, but, you know, if you had to kind of like sum it up, um, um, and inject a feeling into people, because <laughs> that's a thing that we can do. Despair. What would that be? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I think it's just we Vocal made a record sense. that was... We kind of were just making songs, you know, along kind of, we did it really fast, but um, it was really important to me on this album that everything was like a personal experience or feeling or something, so I think, I don't know, just, I hope people just like resonate with it in some way, whether it's one song or the whole album or, you know, um, and just take away that they're not alone going through hard stuff, because uh, we all go through it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's super, super important. Is there uh, a song from this new album that you're kind of all feeling right now that's like your, your favorite to play live? Mm -hmm. Our fav I think one of our favorites to play live has consistently been Control, which is one of the ones we just played. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's because we're like feeling that way. I mean, I wrote that song about a guy, but <laughs> <laughs> and I, I can't speak for everyone. But <laughs> yeah, but I think that song we just enjoy playing because it's like super heavy and um, just it's one of the last songs that we play and just you know we just have a lot of fun playing it. Yeah, it changes for us, you know, depending right. on the tour, or how you know the day, the minute. <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Right. I, I really like playing the first song we open with, which is "Perfect Life," also the first song on the record. It's 
fast and aggressive. It's fun. Well, very cool. We yeah. can't wait to hear these songs tonight. So, Letters from the Fire tonight at 20 Monroe Live with Cedar. Of course, that's tonight. That show is happening. The rest of the tour with Cedar. But then what's, what's next? Do you guys have big plans? We've got a tour right after this with Blackstone Cherry on like the western half of the country mostly. And then we've got a few weeks off and then we're back out with Cedar. Awesome. So yeah. a whole thing yeah. continuing on with Cedar. Well, fantastic. Like I said, cannot wait to see you guys tonight at 20 Monroe Live with Cedar. Everyone go out, get your tickets, see Letters from the Fire tonight. Guys, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having us.